Hey guys, my name is Alex Barham and you guys asked for it, so here's a review of the Jackson Antics. I got an early look at this boat down in Chile because Dane and Caleb had sent theirs ahead for their early promo video that they shot down there. And I have to admit, we spent like an hour one afternoon kind of making fun of these things because they, they do really look sort of like ugly ducklings. And then the moment that we saw them get on the water and people were just tail riding them everywhere, boofing things we didn't think that like something that looked the size of a playboat would be able to and just having a ball, we were all dying to get one in and just go rip. So let's start at the beginning. These boats seem to be built off of a Karma platform uh, in the center and going along the hull into your knee pocket. So what that means is you've got this step chine design which goes into a super flat planing hull. That has a couple features which lend itself well to this design. So you've got a ton of stability, sort of a flat left right tilt thing going on in terms of how you carve it around. And it also just surfs like a dream because it's super flat. Simple, right? The stern really looks like EJ could have built, built this for wave sport back in the day when he was making those wing style cartwheel boats there. Uh, it stands really nicely, especially in the smaller sizes. And once the boat's up, it really wants to stay up and keep using that wing shape to just spin and spin and spin. The bow, you know, it's sort of chopped off and it looks a little funny, but because these boats are significantly wider than others in this field, it actually works out that you have plenty of volume in the knee pocket to rise up and stay high and dry in pretty much every circumstance. Maybe if you were overweighing one of these, you'd have an issue, but certainly I've never had a problem if you're choosing your sizes correctly, you know, say I spend more time on waterfalls, so I lean towards a large, no problems. If I was taking a medium, you know, it's really not that much bigger than some uh, river running playboats. So you, you could wind up with just bringing a knife to a gunfight, but you'd still be on a pretty good platform to figure it out. All of these features together do make a really great package, which I think is especially geared towards people who are just learning the nuances of free riding, people who are looking for sort of an all around boat to figure out if they are gonna go towards, you know, river running and creaking, or if they're gonna go towards playing. But at the same time, there are some things which this boat is not amazing at. The biggest thing is going to be, I think, speed. This boat's not fast because, again, it's sort of boxy and wide. That's fine, though, if you're in the right size range for it. It stands up so easily in the medium size that you don't need to come in hot onto an eddy line to really stand it up. Uh, you can just use your body weight and throw it down. By the same token, creaking in this thing, it's a not a lot of boat compared to like a full on creaker to take care of you. But since you're going a little bit slower, you have more time to think and take care of yourself. Um, that would be kind of, to me, the biggest drawback aside from the large is large. So if the sizing isn't quite working for you and you just jump into the large, you may find that the boat isn't as playful as that you want it to be. But for those of you bigger dudes out there who are finding that everything else out there is just not enough boat for you, you might luck out and have a large antics, which really fits the bill. One more strength, which sort of surprised me, but also makes perfect sense is the outfitting in this boat is really geared for quick adjustments. Now, usually this works best for like kayaking schools and stuff like that, but being able to have your seat all the way forward take the weight out of the stern and have the boat river run a little bit more without getting stood up and then being able to get to your spot, slam the seat back and start doing stern squirts and tailies. It's a really great feature. It makes this boat really go places that uh, otherwise maybe you'd be a little bit worried about. But if you know that you can 
slide have this sliding scale so to speak uh it opens up doors i used it all the time just to play with it uh, and really enjoyed it so should you check one of these out yeah absolutely definitely the medium is going to be super playful these things are really in that sweet spot that a lot of people come to me about where they're looking for something that is gonna surf everything but still be able to river run maybe some light creakers maybe uh definitely if you're already a full-on creaker or river runner an advanced paddler you can do a lot in these boats um but it's not a jackknife you know it, it can't do everything but it's very good fastest in its class again no most sporty in its class no but for that middle of the road boat absolutely excellent so definitely demo one of these check them out uh, i'll drop a link to where you can get them from us and have a good one